Well, some of the top defensive player of the year candidates for this season. How about Calais Campbell? Boy, did he make the right move in going to Jacksonville. 14 and a half sacks, tied for the second most in the NFL, and that was a new Jacksonville record. Rams defensive lineman Aaron Donald, dominant with 11 sacks, five forced fumbles. This is from an interior lineman, guys. And held out all of training camp. He's about to get paid as well. Saints Cameron Jordan not only had a career-high 13 sacks, but he also broke up 10 passes, the most by any defensive lineman. And Seahawks linebacker Bobby Wagner was all over the field. He tied for the league lead with 97 solo tackles despite dealing with a hamstring injury later in the year. So, Teddy, you're a defensive player. Joe, you have to block the best of the best. So you've seen the candidates for our defensive player of the year. Teddy, you're first up. Who do you think should get it? I thought Bobby Wagner had a good year, a yeah. great year. I was Pounding the table for him late in the year, week 14, week 15. But that hamstring injury, he didn't finish as strong as I would have liked to have seen him strong finish. And the Seattle defense. I'm going with Calais Campbell. That'd be my choice for Defensive Player of the Year. He had the numbers with the sacks like you're talking about. But it's almost like the Jaguars needed this type of leader, this type of player, this type of production to take that next step to be that best defense in the National Football League. I think that he's his... The way that he was able to play end, the way that he was able to play tackle, up the middle pocket pressure, he was a difference maker. And for me, I'd go with Calais Campbell. Well, you know, he's from Denver and free agency last year. He was deciding between going to the Broncos and going to the Jaguars. The way it all turned out, you made the right choice. Uh, Joe, what about you? Who would be your defensive player of the year? I'm going with Aaron Donald. There's no more dominant defensive player in the NFL than Aaron Donald. And being a defensive tackle in the middle of the game, it's impossible to account for him. As a matter of fact, two years ago when we played him, uh, back when they were in St. Louis, we were going to take our protection him every single time. If there was not a pressure, we were going to that guy because we knew that no matter who was on him, you could not block him one-on-one. -on -one. He's so dominant. He's such a force inside. And like they said, he's about to get a lot of money. Oh, the Brinks Tropics is going back up there. Just so people understand, pro football focus grades every single player in the NFL. Aaron Donald by far was graded higher at his position than any other player was at their position. He graded out at 99.7 on a scale because they don't do 100. They do 99.9 .9 as the highest they can go. They took off those two tenths of one point because he held out. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's the only reason. For comparison, Tom Brady got a 95.7 grade, and he, he oh, could yeah. be the MVP. Yeah. That's how dominant Donald is at his position. I think Aaron Donald's the only guy in the NFL as a non-quarterback who should be paid like a quarterback. Yeah. He's a different look, and he's, he's not a huge guy. He's 6'1", right around 300 pounds. His leverage is unbelievable. Yes. You know who else's leverage is unbelievable? Well, his information is unbelievable. Adam Jeff, <laughs> Adam, give me your defensive player of the year. I'm going to go with Cameron Jordan of the New Orleans Saints. Oh. You look at a defense that was completely different this year compared to last year, and the primary reason was Cameron Jordan. It helped that they had some great draft picks that helped out in the secondary, but the pressure up front was undeniable. He made plays, big plays, that helped turn around games for the New Orleans Saints. He did it on a consistent basis. The Saints usually hadn't gotten that type of defensive production from anybody all year. They got that this year from Cameron Jordan, while Aaron Donald – is deserving and Clayus Campbell is deserving and Bobby Wagner is deserving. There's no more any no one any more deserving than Cameron Jordan. All right, Adam swear, squarely in the Cameron Jordan camp. We put it up on Twitter, our defensive player of the year, and it is Calais Campbell. Is that a seven or a one? That's 41%. Doesn't that one look like a seven? It does. All right, we need to clean up our numbers here. Font. We need to clean up our font <laughs> issues. That looked like I almost said 47. I'm like, there's no way he got 47% of the vote. That's an odd one. 41% of the uh, of the vote.